Word, Module 6, Mail Merge Letters, Open 6-2 for the Skills Review. And if we were to look at this as a full page, full document, it's landscape. So the first thing we need to do is change the layout, the orientation to portrait. And then I'll go back to 100%. Then we're going to save this document and close so that we can make it, um, it'll be available for part of our mail merge. So go ahead and save it in the location where you save your, your um, Word documents. And the name of this one is 6 underscore Redwood Letter. And you don't need your name because you'll be submitting this in Blackboard. So save. So you've given it the name and then close out of here and then choose file new new blank document now we'll prepare for our mail merge by clicking mailings then choose start mail merge select step-by-step -step mail merge wizard and it should be letters and down at the bottom starting document so we'll click that and we're going to start from an existing document an existing letter make sure it's on more files open go to where you um, you just put your letter and open that and the first thing we're going to do is select the the words current date and actually put in the date so I'm going to click the insert tab this is insert date choose the third option and OK. Then the next thing that we'll do is we'll get ready to find our recipient. So click Next, select Recipient List. And this is going to be a new list. So click Type a New List, then choose Create. And again, these are the fields that are available. We're going to choose Customize Columns. We don't need all of these, so we'll get rid of the ones that we don't need. And the first one will be company name so select it delete yes address line 2 delete yes country or region we don't need that delete yes home phone yes work phone delete yes and one more email address delete yes this time we're going to add to click add and this one will be amount and okay and the next one add is park and add okay so make sure they're underneath the zip code amount and park and then click OK and at this point you're going to fill in seven records of information for seven different recipients so make sure when you get to the end and you're always using tab to move forward um, when you get to the end and it's time for a new one click new entry so you'll do this seven times or six times don't do it after the last one so I'm gonna pause it for a minute so hopefully you have filled in seven records of information. Go ahead and click OK and then you'll be requested to save right away. So you'll save it in the file location where you save all of your files. And this one is ILWD6 and this is called Red Wood Data and then click OK or save. And then it takes us back into it and we're gonna we need to make a correction so you need to select data source so that then you can click edit and then we want to change the second record so the first name will be oh not not the first name in in this name here the second record go down to the park and instead of Redwood it's going to be Judea Smith so go ahead and correct that And then go ahead and click OK. And it'll ask you to save. And you'll click Yes. And then OK. And then we'll click Next, Write Your Letter. So click right before We Are Delighted in the very first par paragraph. Press Enter first. And then in the Mailings tab, select Address, Book. And again, these are your samples, and you can scan to see how the rest of the records are, um, the addresses are. 
and then go ahead and click OK and then we'll press enter twice and then we'll se select the greeting line and dear is fine and mister the the, the um, title and their last name is fine just change the comma to a colon and again you can view these if you'd like and then click OK make sure you press enter once and then double click the word amount and instead of amount you're going to choose more items and click the field amount and then click insert and close and just make sure you put a space bar after the chevron and before the two and then for the next one go down to where park is double click park again go to more items and choose park as the insert field click insert and close and just make sure that there's a space there and I'm going to add something new that is not in the book so in the very first sentence in the first paragraph we are delighted so I'm going to click after delighted and type a comma space and I actually want to say the person's first name so that it's uh, more personalized so click more items and I'm going to select first name and then click insert and close and then just make sure you put a comma and another space so it'll say dear um, we are delighted Jill to receive your generous contribution we are we are delighted Carrie so it's just a way that you can add um, a, a specific field within the letter and it, it makes it more personalized so that's an added touch that's not in the book now we're going to create a if then else merge rule so in the last paragraph the last two words select national park and then choose rules and choose if then else and it should um, we'll fill in this hold on so in the field name select the down arrow and you'll have to scroll we're looking for park so when the field name park is equal to and you're going to type in redwood insert the field national park if it's not redwood then it'll be state park and then click OK and again you don't see it because um, you'd have to choose that toggle field and you would see um, if it, the redwood is equal to so then you can turn that off and then right click to toggle to turn it off Go ahead and in step four through six, click preview your letter. And this is just showing the first letter. And we're ready to complete the mail merge. And make sure you do edit individual documents. Make sure it's all and OK. And you should have the um, seven documents. So when I was looking at my letter, I, I do see an error. There's an extra space, and I'll show you how to fix that. But if you scroll down, um, this one was Judea Park, so it should be State Park. The only one that should be National Park is Redwood. So there's Judea again. And the third letter, Prairie, so it's a State Park. And here we have finally Redwood, and it's National Park. And this one is State Park, and there should be one more that's... Um, last one redwood is national park perfect so i've merged this this is seven um, pages if it's perfect you go ahead and save this as the merge document but i'm going to close out of this and nothing will happen i'll go back to my i don't want to save it i'll go back to my original and this is where i want to make my um, correction there's an extra space there so i'm going to get rid of it there and then what i'll do is um, choose edit individual letters again all and OK and there it is it fixed them so I just fixed my boilerplate and now if I check all of them are fixed perfect so go ahead and save this as your merge letter Redwood mer letter merge and only submit this I don't need the access data sheet I don't need the um, boilerplate letter just this one thank you